to my channel and welcome to today's video. Collagen and elastin keep the skin tight and firm. However, as we age, our skin tend to lose the elasticity, it tends to lose the collagen production, therefore causing our skin to get wrinkles and also to sag, especially around the jawline and the neck and decollete area. Today I have a wonderful natural homemade remedy that is going to have to lift the skin is going to help to tighten those sagging jawline and sagging neckline. So if you find that your skin is starting to sag, if you find that you're getting a lot of wrinkles and fine lines around the jawline, around the neck, then this video is for you. So continue watching. Our first ingredient is papaya and papaya is a wonderful fruit for tightening the skin. Papaya contains a high amount of vitamin A, vitamin C and also contain vitamin E. It has a significant antioxidant value. Applying papaya to your skin has an amazing tightening effect as well as a brightening effect. Yet on the skin, the papain in the papaya works to break down the inactive protein of dead skin cells that accumulates on the skin surface. Our second ingredient is milk and milk is known as one of the best ingredient for tightening the skin. This is because milk contains lactic acid that rejuvenate the skin, boosts the repair of damaged skin cells and eliminate the dead skins. Raw milk is better in the sense that it contains a higher content of nutrients that provide intense nourishment to your skin and keep it healthy and glowing. Our next ingredient is green tea and green tea is beneficial to sagging skin because it contains antioxidant. Green tea contains a lot of vitamins and minerals that are great for not only tightening the skin but also for brightening the skin. Also it helps to get rid of blemishes from the skin. So green tea mixed with these other ingredients is going to create a wonderful combination for tightening sagging skin. Our final ingredient is corn starch and corn starch is used on the skin to get rid of sunburn. It also help with patches and when mixed with other ingredients it can help to tighten sagging skin. Corn starch will also leave a very cooling, a very soft and a very suppleness to your skin. So to begin here we have our milk and the first thing you want to do with your milk you want to warm the milk. You can choose to warm the milk on your stovetop or you can choose to warm the milk in your microwave. Now while I am warming the milk I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the papaya. So I'm gonna use about two ounces of the papaya now you can choose to use the papaya skin for a facial scrub. Just blend the papaya skin, add some brown sugar and some coconut oil to this and use it to exfoliate your skin. So here is the flesh of the papaya which is about 2 ounces. We're going to blend. So for easier blending, I'm going to just chop this in cubes. And here is our blended papaya. Now here we have our hot milk and this is about a half a cup of hot milk. Now we're going to reach for our tea bag which is our green tea and we're going to open this and pour it in our hot milk. Next, we're going to just give it a stir, just stir it, and now we're going to put this aside for about a minute to brew. Now after about a minute, we're going to prepare our cornstarch. So I'm going to use about one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now 
Next, I'm gonna reach for my warm milk. Give it a stir. And I'm gonna use two tablespoons of our milk and green tea mixture. Do not strain. Then we're just gonna mix this in. Now we're gonna keep mixing and if you notice how thick this has become, just keep blending, keep blending. Make sure to get rid of any lumps. And this is what it's going to look like up close. It should look somewhat like this. Once this is done, next we're going to reach for our papaya. And we're going to use a tablespoon of the papaya. Add a little more. And we're going to blend this in. Just blend it in the cornstarch and green tea and milk mixture. Keep blending. And this is it. Here we have our papaya milk and green tea facial mask for sagging jawline and neckline. And now I'm going to show you how to use this wonderful treatment to get rid of your sagging neck and your sagging jawline. So here we have our tightening treatment for sagging skin. You want to make sure to give it a mix before you apply it to your face. You want to start with clean skin. Clean skin, I mean you want to wash your face like you normally do and you could also exfoliate the skin before you apply this. If you exfoliate on a regular, no need to, but if you don't, exfoliate the face, rinse off and then you apply your tightening treatment. To apply, I like to just take my hands and wipe it on my face. If not, you could choose to use a brush. However, using my hands to apply it to give me a better application. So I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to apply it to my skin. Star. I'm just going to be generous rest with it. So I'm just going to take a good amount of it. I'm going to rub it in my hands like this. And then I'm just going to put a thin layer wherever I need to tighten. Personally for me, I like to use it on my entire face. However, if you're looking just to tighten the jawline, make sure to put a good amount at the jawline, your sagging neck. And as you can see, it basically just absorb in the skin. Let me come closer. Now once you're done with that, you're going to sit with it for the 30 minutes as I'm going to be doing now. And what is going to happen, it's going to start to tighten the skin, it's going to start to dry on the skin. Now after sitting with it for about 15 minutes, you're really and truly gonna feel a tightening effect on the skin. That's okay, that's the treatment working. Sit with it for another 15 minutes or so. If you could go longer, then why not? You're actually getting the full benefit of this because of the antioxidant in the green tea and all that good vitamin A and vitamin C and vitamin E that is in the papaya is working on the skin not only to get rid of the sagging skin but also to have your space plump and also to leave your skin just bright 
beautiful and just radiant. After 30 minutes, you're gonna rinse off with some warm water and then you're gonna move on to using your regular facial treatment such as your anti-aging facial oil or serum, okay? Now where storage is concerned, if you store this in your refrigerator, it's gonna be very hard. Therefore, you need to make enough just for one use. However, you could choose to blend your papaya and you can keep that in your refrigerator for up to about three to four days. When you wanna use your cornstarch and your green tea, you wanna make that fresh, okay? Now you can choose to use this at least twice per week for best results. So now I'm gonna sit with this for another 15 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna rinse off, and I will be back with the result. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Now go and try this wonderful remedy. Remember, if you do not have papaya, you can use some avocado in this remedy. Thank you all for watching. If this was your first time, you want to see more of this video, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribed. Also, I have a show and it is entitled Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. This is a live show every Sunday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Time. so we talk about skincare we discuss these wonderful remedies and you can also ask whatever question you have join me every Sunday 4 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Sunday chit chat thank you all and I'll see you in my next video bye bye